Hello, I'm Eleanor Gifford. I'm going to read you a story inspired by Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. My story is called Percy Jackson and the Great Jellyfish of the West Woods by me. <laughs> it's not every day you find yourself being attacked by a giant jellyfish monster. This is the one where Percy Jackson and Annabeth Chase are sent on a magical adventure to find the great jellyfish of the West Woods. Percy Jackson and the Great Jellyfish of the West Wood by Eleanor Gifford As Percy and Annabeth walked through the deserted dark West Wood, they came across a deer eating berries. In a rose bush nearby, a wolf was creeping. The wolf was just about to pounce when the deer turned slowly around to look at it. Suddenly, the deer opened its mouth and soggy worm-like tentacles shot out, grabbing the wolf by its neck. As the wolf desperately bit into the tentacles, runny, slimy mucus spilled out everywhere and covered the wolf completely. The wolf fell into a deep coma and collapsed to the ground. A huge jellyfish sluggishly oozed out of the deer's mouth, leaving nothing behind but a wet, green goo and an empty deer skin. Slowly, it began to crawl into the wolf's mouth. Yuck! Gross! It's digesting the wolf from the inside. Ugh! exclaimed Percy. Without a warning, the jellyfish slid out of the wolf's skin and flung its tentacles at Annabeth. Percy, you have to get up a tree! Annabeth screamed as she fell on the ground, shivering with fright. Percy climbed to the tallest tree he could find and sat at the top. He snapped off a branch and threw it at the jellyfish. Although Percy had good aim, the branch bounced harmlessly off the head of the jelly monster and added it in this squishy mud. Percy took his ballpoint pen and uncapped it. Immediately, Riptide, the shimmering gold sword, appeared in his hand. Racing towards the jellyfish wolf, he slashed at the monster with the sword. The jellyfish wolf dodged and banged against the tree with a slushing sound. The jellyfish tried to grab Percy, but its tentacles were tangled on the branches of the tree. Help! Percy yelled. The monster spat through holes in its head, covering the tree and Percy with sticky mucus. Percy became sleepy and started to lean to one side. He was going to fall. As quick as a flash, Annabeth rushed towards the tree with her razor sharp knife in her hand. She poked the jelly monster and it put like a balloon. The monster whizzed all the way to the moon, leaving a trail of juice falling from the sky like a green rain. After Percy woke up, the creatures of the forest came out from where they were hiding and thanked the two heroes for saving them. Then they had a big party, which lasted for a whole week. I really hope you enjoyed my story. Have a nice day. Bye!